we can take this a step further. We can connect this slicer with this other slicer in here, okay? So we can connect these two slices and then control the pivot tables and the pivot charts, okay? I'll show you how to do this. All right, let's just put that in there. Now, go on to this slicer, right click and choose pivot table connections. In here, okay, we're going to choose, there's a lot of different pivot tables, but what we want to connect is, we want to connect this slicer, okay, to this slicer in here. So to do this, just click in the second slide, second pivot table that we're connecting because we want to get the name. So options, pivot table 11, okay? That's pivot table 11, and this is pivot table nine. So pivot table nine and 11 have to be married. So once again, right click in your slicer. Okay, pivot table nine is chosen. Let's choose pivot table 11. Let's connect these two pivot tables. So by connecting these two pivot tables, we're connecting the slicers and the pivot charts, okay? The same thing in here for the second pivot table we created. Right click, pivot table connections, and let's connect it to pivot table number nine, which is on the left hand side. Okay, see what happens now. As I change one slicer, both charts change and both pivot tables change. See that? As I change the other slicer, both pivot charts change. So now from this, we can create a cool dashboard. To do that, select the slices, control, hold down the control key, select the pivot charts, control X, let's go to our dashboard area, okay. And press control V and escape, okay. So now we have our cool little dashboard in here with our two different, let's just put in there, pivot chart. So as we change one, we can see they both change as well, okay? So that's pretty cool, isn't it? So we can add another slicer from in there. We can also go to analyze, okay? So in the pivot chart, we can go to analyze, Insert slicer, let's insert the year. Okay, so let's put in the year in here. Okay, let's make this another color. So from a pivot chart, you can actually put in a slicer. We could have done it the other way, we could have gone into our pivot tables, but you know, I just showed you another way. All right, so let's right click this new slicer and let's connect it to pivot table number nine. Okay, just make sure it's always connected. So. 2011, 2013, sorry, 2012, 2013, 2014. Look at that, and the title changes. Now we've created a quick dashboard, and I am sure that your boss is gonna fall off his or her chair and fall in love with you and give you a pay rise. If they don't, come to me and I'll speak to them. All right, so. This is how easy it is to create a slicer, a pivot chart, and connect them together and do a cool dashboard. As your data gets updated, all you gotta do is just right click in your pivot tables, refresh, and the information in here gets updated as well. Okay, let's finish off with some cool tips.